Want to learn how to disable VATS on your Gen 3 LSPCM yourself for relatively free? Follow along because we're doing a whole series about it. You can not only disable VATS, uh, rear O2s, you can enable your cooling fans. You can even tune the VE tables and your spark timing and do some real tuning with this free software. Follow along. Let's get right into it, you guys. So what I've done, you know, I explained what programs you need in the last video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Click on the playlist down below. Let's get into reading the PCM, saving that bin file so that you can modify it. After you've connected your PCM to your computer, open up PCM Hammer. And what you want to do is go to Select Device, click on Serial Port Device if it's not already selected, and then Serial Port, and you find whichever one's connected to your OBD device, and then Device Type, and it'll give you a short list of the supported devices that PCM Hammer supports. I'm going to go to OB OBDX Pro because that's what I'm using. Just click OK. And then what we're going to do from there is if you're all connected, go to read properties and click on that. And it'll tell you the VIN number of the vehicle that the PCM came out of, the operating system ID, which is important to know because you need to get an XDF file for that operating system for Tuner Pro. So take note of that. It'll tell you what type it is, PO1, P59. This is a P59 PCM, so it's a drive-by wire. The PO1s are usually drive-by cable, but they both work just the same. And yeah, it'll tell you serial number, hardware number, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do from here, we go up to tools. We're going to go read entire PCM. And that will allow you to save the file of that entire PCM. It'll bring up a place so we can type in a name for that. And I like to just type in, since I do this a lot for customers, I will type their name and type what engine it's for. So it's an 03 5.3 liter with a 4L60E transmission on it. And then I'll just write stock after it. And then hit save. It'll ask you if your PCM has been powered on for at least 10 seconds. And if not, it'll just do a countdown and it'll start in 10 seconds. So then it'll start here. And then what you do now is just wait. Um, so yeah, it'll do its thing and we'll come back when it's done. Uh, the elapsed time is about 4 minutes and 11 seconds. So, so after you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of this PCM hammer. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Just not enough time to fit any more information into the video. So we're, we're stopping them at three minutes. Next video will be how to actually modify the bin file you just stole off of this um, PCM here. So we're going to go through how to do VATS disable, rear O2s, enable cooling fans, etc., etc. So... Stick around, you guys. Hit that playlist button. Go watch the previous video if you haven't. And then watch the next one when it comes out as well. I'll be doing that one right after I'm done making this one. So thanks for watching, you guys. LS Swap everything.